All right, so I've kind of avoided publishing too much on this channel, and I think that it's about time that I start putting out some, you know, regular content, I would say, and try to give people a reason to subscribe to the channel. So this uh, video is the update by Dennis Wolf. I just want to go through it, see what he has to say. Okay, uh, here's the thing about Dennis Wolf. First of all, great competitor. He's probably about six feet tall, I would say, and so one of the taller guys, one of the bigger guys, obviously. He has competed consistently at the Olympia since 2006. He's not missed an Olympia in that time. So he's competed at 10 Olympias so far, and that's almost a full... He's had 10 contests, but he's almost had a full 10 years of being at that level, the Olympia level, the top of the world level. Very few guys can do that. Some have done it, you know, some have done it for even longer than that, but it's not something that happens all the time. It's it's some pretty rare class of bodybuilding champion that can make it that far. I almost think for sure he's a future bodybuilding Hall of Famer. He's just an incredible bodybuilder and he's done it very well. But to carry that much size uh, for that long, I think obviously there are going to be some some health, potential health repercussions. And even if not in terms of illness, in terms of just injuries. So he's four days out of surgery. He's, he's claimed apparently back surgery and um, his, he's waiting for his doctor to give him the, the green light. The thing about that is that as far as I'm concerned, it's for him to put the size back on to be at the level of the Mr. Olympia. Based on how he looks here, that's going to be pretty hard for him to do, I would say. I think he might be able to do it. He is a top pro bodybuilder who's done this before and he hopefully has all the access in the world to everything required to get to that point. And there are there is still some time for sure. So perhaps he could do it, but he needs to overcome this injury. And frankly, I don't want to see him go down the road that Ronnie Coleman has where he keeps kind of working through, pushing through injuries to maybe to prove that he's a champion. I think Dennis does have a little bit of that. He wants to always qualify for the Olympia by winning a contest and rather than, you know, through the point system, for example. So I think he wants to show people just how worthy he is as a competitor. And that's fine. But also in terms of, there's there are some costs to that. In terms of his longevity, there's the fact that if he continues doing that, and you know, as we've seen from Ronnie Coleman, in contrast with somebody like Sean Ray, for example, we've seen Ronnie, I hate to say it, but but in, in a sense, like, I don't want to say fall apart, but it, it almost is that point. I mean, he's been in a wheelchair. He may eventually, if he keeps going, who knows, he may be permanently in one. I mean, I, have, I would hate for that to happen, but Ronnie just turned 52 last month, and... He just, he, intensity is in his blood. And I think that with Dennis, there's something similar anyway, that he wants to push through injuries and, and just be the best that he can be. When I think maybe it might be a little smarter for him to kind of go the way of uh, Juan Morel right now and take a full year off and, and just recover properly before he gets back into it. Also, I don't, I don't know if at this point he really needs to continue competing. He can sort of um, segue his, his uh, success in bodybuilding into other areas of the industry and make money that way. I, I don't think he needs competition winnings, but it probably doesn't hurt. And the payout is pretty good for a competitor of his caliber. But I think, you know, he should start thinking about his health. He's still relatively young. I mean, he will be 38 this year and he's hopefully healthy. I mean, but this is a big, this is a serious injury, not, not necessarily an illness, but it is a serious injury. So my thoughts on this is I don't think that Dennis should compete at the Olympia, although he already has signed the contract. He has uh, sponsors that he has to, uh, to do well, uh, not necessarily do well, but at least sort of show up uh, as best as possible and fulfill sort of his obligations with them. He uh, has canceled some appearances, so I think that is a good thing. I, I feel like he should continue sort of doing that and then sort of recover from this. But anyway, I wish Dennis the best, of course. I want to see him do well in bodybuilding, but I also want to see him healthy. And I, I have to speak about this later separately regarding Ronnie Coleman, but I, I don't think that that's the way to go about it. I, I feel like Ronnie Coleman is, is was, and still, I guess, is an amazing champion time Mr. Olympia in the most dominant era of bodybuilding. But I kind of, myself, I like to see the mental and physical health of, of bodybuilders, of athletes, and for them not to go down 
uh, a bad road. I think in terms of Dennis Wolf being as tall as he is and as, and as heavy as he is, there was uh, the, a bodybuilder that I could think about that had similar size would be Art Atwood. And Art did pass away of a, of a heart attack at age 37 in 2011. And that's and I did a video on that uh, to discuss that a bit. But it's just that's kind of sad. I don't really want to see that. I'd rather see that not happen. And you can't kind of stay this big forever. And even though bodybuilders have the attitude, I'd like to be as big as possible, sort of die at whatever time. And just as long as I get buried in a big coffin. I, I don't know if I buy that. And I don't really want to see that. I like how George St. Pierre was able to sort of retire champion and hopefully put it away for good and for the sake of his mental and physical health, maybe stay retired. So I'm not necessarily suggesting that Dennis needs to retire, but some time off to deal with what appears to be a very serious back injury and surgery, I think wouldn't be a bad idea. That's just my thoughts about that. If you have any differences of opinion, be sure to share them. But to me, I'm willing to let go of seeing the most hardcore bodybuilders around and sort of see some trade-off with health because I, I feel like that's important too. And you kind of can have the best of both worlds. It is possible. Dennis can come back later, stronger than ever, if he really wants to. But for now, I really feel like you should address this injury. So that's my thoughts on that. All the best to Dennis and thanks for watching. I'll try to update this channel with more content, hopefully on a regular basis. Thank you.